Hi guys, I'm Kristen Gumpf and I'm a PA specializing in men's health. If you're enjoying the content, then like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We're continuing our straight talk series on Peyronie's disease and we'll be discussing types of penile injuries from the most severe, like penile fracture, to the most common micro injuries and how these lead to scar tissue formation. So, can you break your penis? Yes. Is there a bone in your penis? No. But, just like other parts of your body, there is a spectrum that you can see with injuries. If you roll your ankle, this could lead to nothing, a contusion, sprain, strain, or fracture, and similar things can happen with your penis. Penile trauma or injury most commonly occurs during sexual intercourse, but can also occur without an erection after a traumatic force is applied to the penis. In the past, I've seen something as benign as getting hit with a backpack to getting hit with a baseball or after getting kicked. There may not be any obvious signs at the time showing that an injury occurred, but it could become present a few months later in these situations. Typical injury occurs during sexual activity with an erection and an abrupt bend, but again, this may cause a sprain or strain or a fracture. In the case of penile fracture, the usual story is during sexual activity, the penis bends and you may feel or even hear a popping sound or sensation. You quickly lose your erection and develop bruising, which can be pretty significant. What is happening here is a tear in the connective tissue around your erectile bodies called the tunica albuginea, and you then have blood leak through that defect, which creates that bruising and swelling. The most severe type of penile injury typically requires surgery to repair that defect and then will take a couple of months before the swelling is resolved and you are able to be sexually active again. Another type of penile injury is less noticeable. With age, it is inevitable that your erections will become less robust and with decreased rigidity, you can sustain micro injuries to that tunica albuginea, which your body still tries to heal, but some people experience an abnormal wound healing response where you deposit too much collagen into that connective tissue, and this leads to what we call a Peyronie's plaque or scar tissue. For some people, this scar tissue may not have noticeable effects or could lead to significant curvature with erections and worsening erectile function. Find out more about these symptoms with Peyronie's disease on our next episode of Straight Talk. And again, like, subscribe, and leave your comments about Peyronie's disease below. See you next time.